I waited for this day. I waited for this day. I didn't think it would come. I didn't think it would be possible. The way the prices have been booming up for this guy. I didn't think I can get him. But come on, baby. It's the D3 channel. You know I make the impossible happen. Let's get to it. Hey guys, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Devin. Welcome back to the D3 channel. Hey, hey, it's happy Friday, baby. D3 channel on deck, guys. Let's get it. We are here with another comic unboxing mail call for you guys. We are about two away, I think, from 250, guys. Please like this video, subscribe, ring that notification bell so every single time I drop a video like this. And other videos that are dropping this weekend, you guys are the first ones to know. And I appreciate all my viewers, subscribers, people that stumble upon my page, commenters, just the love. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys have been loving the collection. I mean, at the end of the day, my collection is your collection. So we're building this thing together one book at a time, guys. But one of these books actually may go to a, uh, may go to a 250 subscriber when we hit our giveaway. But you won't know unless you click the description below and read the rules because there's rules to this thing and I want it to be fair but anyway let's get to it guys we got three of course you know the last box is gonna be last but we're gonna go ahead and go through these right here guys I, I'm, I'm excited I'm feeling good you know it's, it's been kind of somewhat of a rough week you know what I mean but at the end of the day a hey, God is in control God is in control and that's all that matters at the end of the day I'm good. I'm blessed. My people are blessed. I hope you guys are blessed. And that's all that matters right now. It's just, hey, just carpe diem. You know what I mean? Just living in the moment, enjoying the moment, because that's all that matters at this point in life, guys. So let's get into it. Let's see what the first book is, guys. This is an interesting package, because I've never seen one that had... See that? That's crazy. I never seen anything like that before, but that's actually not a bad idea. Honestly, that's not a bad idea or whatever, because it doesn't fold, like it doesn't have any give or whatever. So, I mean, if you want to keep your books like 100% like straight with no bins or fear of being bent or, you know, tossed in mail or anything like that, I don't know. I may, have, may keep these, you know, when I send the CGC. Oh, by the way. I got the six. I got the six books that the viewers, that you guys, the viewers, you guys, I put tape right there, <laughs> that you guys have picked out for me to send CGC. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but I already got them wrapped with the invoice and all that ready to be sent by me. I plan on doing that um, by the end of this week because um, I also plan on sending Lewis P. his Miss Marvel number one. I'm sending that to my boy tomorrow. I hope you heard that, my friend. I'm sending that to you tomorrow, good buddy. I ain't forget about you. So I'm definitely sending um, an another book your way because you've just been patient and do just been chill with me. Just still rock with your boy, and I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. So that's for my boy overseas in the UK. So I'm just trying to get the tape off here. I love the security. Just... But this goes with, honestly, this book actually goes and kind of ties with the book that I showed you guys last week um, that dropped on Monday, actually, um, that dropped on Monday for you guys. Like, this is part of the, I'm telling you, go ahead and get these keys now, because if you watched WandaVision today, then you saw one of the characters that this character is associated with. And all that's going to do is just tie into everything. So, of course, guys, we are talking about this is Thor number two. This is when this is the first full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. Thor number, I think it was number eight, I believe, um, that I unboxed, I think, last week. That was when we found out it was revealed that Jane Foster was Thor, but this is the first full appearance of Thor, Jane Foster's Thor, 
um, in this book. This is a slept on book, guys. I got this for a steal, like literally like under 15. Like this is a steal, guys. Get this book while you can, because I'm telling you, any book that comes with Jane Foster is 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 in the air right now. Really, it's re it's, it, it's really technical because people want to go with what if, but if they're going with the story that they're confirming they're going with with Jane Foster having cancer, then this is going to be the story and this is going to be the keys that you want to get because that's going to tie into a lot of stuff in the MCU. So get that Thor number eight. This is mine looking good spine looking good this is definitely a near mint plus over here baby at the end of the day good press and clean let me come back maybe a nine six nine eight so we'll just have to wait and see guys but yeah definitely get on your jane foster key um, keys guys that is a book that is getting really slept on everybody wants to go for that thor one which is like kind of the cover appearance of that and that's fine and all by all means you know collect what you collect but if you want to get technical and you want to know where the what a market is going to go to it's going to go towards where her first full appearance was debuted at and um thor number eight where it's revealed that jane foster was thor i'm telling you right now in january 2021 go ahead and book it mark me for it i'm telling you when the books start going up you heard it from D3 Channel first. I'm telling you, those, those books are heavily slept on right now. So this book, guys, this one is going for the 250 subscriber because um, I still want to find a good copy of this book for me um, at the moment. I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I'll let y'all decide. Do you guys want this book for the 250 or do you think I should keep it and get it slabbed? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm still... I'm still iffy on it, guys. Just real iffy. But I will let you guys decide. I will let you guys decide. Please comment below and let me know after seeing this video, do you want this book to be in the 250 giveaway or do you want me to keep it for myself? Because I'm really just in debate. I don't know 100% what I want to do when it comes to this book and everything. And so um, I know any... Anybody will be will be happy to have it and everything. And if I'm will, if I'm if I'm able to give it and able to give a comic fan, you know, a fan of the channel and you know a comic book, you know, fan this book, then I, I would I would happily be obliged um, and privileged to give it and make sure that that customer that you know that friend that subscriber that whatever you know is happy with getting this book and everything. So. Um, definitely comment below and let me know if you guys want me to give this for the 250 or do you want me to keep it for myself I'll let you decide on that but guys this is DC presents number 26 this is the first full appearance of the new Teen Titans first full appearance of Cyborg Starfire and Raven um, very good it does have that chip right there missing on the cover right there but on the net look at that spine guys look at that spine see if I can cover the light yeah look at that spine guys look at that spine gorgeous spine gorgeous 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 only thing with it is just that right there but I will let you decide or whatever if somebody wants this Definitely let me know and I will definitely have it up for the 250 But if you want me to keep it for myself and you like Devin This is too good of a book for you to just be out here just willy-nilly just giving it away We rather let you have it if you want me to have it comment below. Let me know for sure um, The story about this and why I got this book was actually this is actually one of the first big keys that I've ever bought What um in the city that I'm at? Um, in comics like period like I walked into a comic store like I didn't know anything about keys and minor keys nothing like that whatever it is. I was like a, I was fresh in the comics and um, the guy the manager Lee the owner Lee was uh, talking to me and I asked him what this book was and he was like oh this is the first appearance of the new Teen Titans or whatever and I was like I love Teen Titans especially the Cartoon Network version not to go but the OG Teen Titans, like I love the book. And so um, and it was actually a Mark Jewelers and I didn't know that. And I didn't know anything about Mark Jewelers or anything until I got well versed into it. Um, but I sent it to CGC 
Um, it got graded Mark Jewelers. I think it was like a four or five cream to off white or whatever. I, I didn't care about the gray or whatever because this was my first big key book that I ever bought or whatever. Like this was like my first um, like big key buy. Um, just getting in the comics period and CGC lost it in the mail. Like I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it was CGC or if I don't know if it was FedEx. But either way, it's not here. And that book was sent out last summer, summer of 2020. Like, and I've yet to get it back. So, like, I've just been just really on the hunt just for DC 26. Um, and just honestly, honestly, I, I would want the exact same book um, of DC um, 26. Same condition but Mark Jewelers because my first book was a Mark Jewelers and I feel like I'd be doing a step down if I don't get a Mark Jewelers of this book but that's just kind of just my sentimental when it comes to this book and uh, why I decided to get it um, you know just to kind of just fill that void of the book that I've never gotten back from CGC because either they lost it or FedEx lost it and I just never got it back again so um, definitely let me know. I feel like telling that story made y'all be like, nah, bro, you need to keep that book. But for real, if you want this book in the 250 subscriber, please comment below and let me know. And I would definitely um, have it up there for sure. Um, once we get 250, I will, of course, drop a video saying the date and the time that I'll do the giveaway and the prizes and everything of those books or whatever. I definitely want to do, I'm not doing top five. I definitely want to do like maybe 10, top 10 or whatever. So we can get 10 winners and everything so you know at the end of the day because I just appreciate you guys and you guys just been helping a brother like the comments the support the questions the dialogue all that you guys are just awesome so if I can give this book first Teen Titans first Cyborg Starfire and Raven to somebody that just supported the channel and just been loving the channel watching the channel supporting me then I would happily do that no questions asked like it doesn't matter about my feelings or anything like that when it comes to the book like I would definitely be quick to go ahead and send that out but with that being said we're here for the coup de gras this is this this right here this is what I was talking about I did I never thought that I would ever have this in my collection um literally a year like after the book just blew up and um, I don't want to give it away. I'll talk about it once I reveal it. But just again, people ask me all the time, like, how am I able to get books from my collection? How do I get books in my collection and those specific books and those grades and everything like that? Honestly, I'm telling you guys, it comes with timing and it comes with your financial standing. I'm telling you guys, both of those have to be in sync when it comes to getting these books guys that's the only way you're going to feel great about getting your books and getting your purchases and everything just perfect timing this book was just there like it was there on ebay i watched it you know was just kind of just filling it out seeing where it was going to go you know had help getting it just you know at the end of the day it was just everything just aligned and that's what needs to happen when it comes to getting your books and how you feel about your collection is that when you look at everything everything just happened everything just aligned itself perfectly like you know you just can't explain it it's just everything just happened pitch perfect and i'm telling you this happened exactly for this book everything was just pitch perfect it came at the right time it felt good i'm debating if i want to send it to get cracked pressed or if i'm just if, or if i honestly just want to rock the grade that it's in right now like honestly like this is a hot book and it's only going to climb this book is only going to climb and i can guarantee you guarantee you that this book is going to be um it's already up there with the blue chip keys um the books that just are always going to just climb up in value and i'm telling you this book is going to do that as well of course it's going to be the nine eights the nine six the nine fours i mean sometimes maybe nine two nine o's but definitely those three grades are going to be the ones that everyone is going to have to go everybody wants to go after and fight for because the nine fours and nine six have room to improve and the nine eights are top tiers, creme de la creme, of course. But I'm telling you guys, this book just came at the right time. 
it felt right with me because any other time I looked at this book and stuff it just didn't feel right it felt out of my price range it just I was like man I am never going to get my hands on this book before you know it climbs up to astronomical proportions because I'm telling you if this character gets I just looked at it if this character gets announced in the MCU, I guarantee you 9-8s, 9-6s, and 9-4s are going to go through the roof, guys. You want to know what I'm talking about. You're curious to know. You're just like, Devin, what are you talking about? You've been talking about this book for almost 15 minutes now, and we have yet to see it. Well, I will show you guys exactly what it is, guys. And I am here to introduce that ultimate fallout number four in a nine four white pager is in the d3 collection guys oh i can't believe i got this book in my hands i cannot believe we got this book in my hands people d3 we did it we got miles first first full appearance of miles morales oh first full appearance of miles morales you know he is hot he has had a year last year with Spider-Verse 2 being announced in production, Spider-Man Miles Morales being honestly, um, in some people's mind, the best Spider-Man game to be out, um, just period right now, and just hints of him coming into the MCU, it don't matter if it's CGC, CBCS, everybody is trying to get their hands on this book, guys, and oh my god, it looks Gorgeous! <laughs> it looks gorgeous, guys. First appearance of Miles Morales as Spider Man came out October 2011. 9 4 White Pager. Yeah, yeah. Right time, right pricing. It just fell in my lap, guys. It, it it was just perfect timing, guys. I'm telling you, you don't have to go out. It, and if you if you got the money then do your thing. I'm not telling you how to manage your money and everything. I can only tell you from my experience. But guys, sometimes you don't have to go out and just spend all your hard-earned money on just a book. Sometimes you just got to sit and wait and wait for that book that you want in the grade that you want it in or if it has the potential to get to the grade that you want it in. And just sometimes the price just feels right getting it. And I'm telling you, as much as I would love a 9.6 and a 9.8, look, a 9.4 of this? You know how much a 9-4 of this goes right now. And you know this book is steadily climbing. And CGC and CBCS combined. You know this book is climbing. And I'm telling you, I'm debating. I don't know, guys. How do you guys feel about me sending this in to CGC to get it cracked, pressed, and get CGC instead of CBCS? Or should I just accept what I got? and keep it in a CBCS case in a 9-4. Comment below and let me know what you guys think, guys. I will give you a little, a good quick overview of that spine. Look at that spine right there. Like, that thing is nice, guys. Look at that spine. Make sure you see everything. Make sure, make sure you see them edges. Gotta keep them edges laid. Keep them edges, keep them edges. Make sure you look at the back. I want you guys to look at the back and everything make sure that everything is good before you give your opinion on if you think this book should get pressed and clean I definitely see some things in it on the spine that can definitely be pressed out that doesn't do um that doesn't have any color breaks or anything like that this may be a 9698 candidate I'm not sure but you guys let me know if you want to see this book be in a CGC case potentially pressed and clean either coming back a 9.4 or lower or a 9.4 to a 9.698. The odds, we don't know. You never know when it comes to cracking another graded book. Sometimes it can work in your favor. Sometimes it can be a detriment or whatever and you lose value. So I don't know. Should I just accept my 9.4 and just keep it in a 9.4 or should I shoot for the gusto and make it see if I can get a 9.698 out this thing? I don't know. Comment below. Let me know, guys. But yes, 9-4 of Miles Morales Ultimate Fallout 4. Again, comment and let me know if you guys want this to be in your 250 subscriber giveaway video. That's, that'll come when we hit 250. 
first appearance of Starfire, Raven, and Cyborg, first appearance of the new Teen Titans, DC 26, as well as kind of honestly the sleeper of the Thor books right now, Thor number two, first full appearance of Jane Foster as Thor. That is the mail call for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video. It's 20 minutes long. I'm about to wrap it up because it's Friday. I got to type my paper, work on some, work on my thesis this weekend, but I, I had to unbox for you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching. Again, remember the golden rule. I got to remember to say it every video. I always end up forgetting, but remember the golden rule, guys. Collect what you love and love what you collect. I will see you guys later. Be safe. Be vigilant out there. Just Stay safe, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.